Palm muting. That's going to be our focus for today's lesson, so let's check it out. So, uh, palm muting, a technique that's used uh, amongst rhythm guitar players, lead guitar players, acoustic uh, guitar players. It's a very, very common technique used uh, in lots and lots of songs in lots of different genres of music. Um, one example is uh, an acoustic song. Um, Ed Sheeran uses it for the song Photograph, so he uses a lot of palm muting for his rhythm playing. <laughs> Um, another example is uh, the punk uh, punk music, where I've just done an example of uh, the Kids Aren't Alright by The Offspring, but you can use it in um, other other bands in that genre of music. Uh, Blink-182 uses it a lot, particularly for all the small things. <laughs> that. Um, Brian Adams uses it for Summer of 69, really uh, well-known intro uh, to the, the to a rock genre. Um, uses the D chord and just uses his palm muting to get that effect going. Um, and use it there. And other examples is, uh, well, uh, other examples are uh, Metallica in lots of heavy metal music and lots of uh, bands in that uh, in that genre as well, using that palm muting. So. Uh, very evident in lots of different types of music. So um, so let's get into it and what palm muting is. Well, palm muting is actually focusing on this hand here, and it's focusing on your palm, um, given, the, uh, given the name of it, um, and it's where you're positioning your hands. So instead of doing things, if I just turn my distortion down a little bit and show you uh, of how you can sort of play when you're playing, you might do some strumming. which is great and that's used in lots of different types of songs and does serve a purpose but sometimes as a rhythm player you want to sort of change things up a little bit and you can do little slight techniques like palm muting uh, to add a bit more uh, add a few more layers and a bit more color uh, to your rhythm playing so um, you know you might just sort of <laughs> and things like that so palm muting the technique so what you need to do is what you want to bring your palm around the bridge area of your electric guitar or your acoustic guitar. Now, when you're doing it, you're going to place your palm on the strings. And you've got to, the one thing you've got to bear in mind is that you don't want to completely mute the strings. You don't want to dampen it too hard. If you press down really, really hard, you're not going to get very much out of it. So you want to be able to have those notes ringing, but they're just dampened a little bit. So if I was playing, uh, if I was playing an E, uh, an E chord... You can hear that E note, those E chords are still coming through, but it's not as pronounced as that one. And it's just there. And you can do it for any chord. You can do it for an A, or you can a G, and so on and so forth. You just need to try and find uh, that position where you can hear the notes coming through and it's dampened. So you don't want to come too much up towards the strings because you're just going to start hearing some scratches there really, and you're not going to get any notes going. You don't want to go too far back because if you go too far back behind the bridge, you're not really going to be using the strings. So you need to try and bring, find that balance where your palm is just resting. I'm going to try and show on this camera here. Your, it's just resting around the bridge section here. So I'm bringing my palm there and I'm playing the notes here, but I'm using that part of the skin on the bridge as we can see here and bringing it there. And I'm just placing it there and then I've got...
and then you can start getting more elaborate. Now, a really, really simple uh, thing to do with that is just to, you don't even have to use your uh, your fretting hand, you can just use the palm mute and you can just, play, you can just start with one string. And go in between the different strings. Then once you get a bit more comfortable with that, you can start bringing two strings into it. And then you can start bringing more strings into it. Uh, and if you're doing a whole chord, you can start bringing a lot more into it because you're palm muting all of them. And all the notes uh, are muted there. So that's a different technique. And then as, and as you get more elaborate with it, you can start thinking about different ways you can play with rhythm. I won't go too much into rhythm and different rhythm patterns because in this video, I might do it in another video, but you can get more elaborate. So you can start bringing those palm mutings into your kind of general rhythm. A bit like Brian Adams' Summer of 69. He starts with that, that chord and then he mutes the rest of it. So give that a go. Uh, check out a few of those artists. Um, I'll post a little picture here uh, on the end of this video to sort of give you some suggestions of artists you can check out and see and some of the uh, palm muting exercises if you're a little bit sim uh, simpler. Um, and then we can start getting more elaborate and uh, more complex with some different rhythm patterns but still using that palm muting technique. So give that a go and I look forward to seeing how you get on. Mm -hmm.